Hello everyone, welcome back to Rog Rotech. Uh, this is a branch off channel from my main channel, Rose of Green, uh, where I do gardening and other types of stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that type of thing, down below in the description, I will have a link to my main channel. There's also links down below for you to save on products, uh, gardening products and whatnot. So uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, today's unboxing is on the Viper Spectra KS5000. Uh, this is a new light that Viper Spectra put out. Um, they talk fairly high about it. Uh, I haven't seen anybody grow with it yet as it is new, but I have heard a couple good things. Uh, I heard it's a quality build and whatnot, but that's what we're going to do here today. It's going to be an unboxing, review, par test, and spectrum test. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to hang it at 16 inches, what they prefer uh, on their hang chart. So uh, let's get after it. Uh, first, I'm not going to be able to pull it out here, right here, uh, because the box is just too damn big. But what I will do is I will just lift it up and I'll show you just all the padding and stuff that they have in there and a little sneak peek of it. So it's packed fairly well. Uh, we did get some damage on this far corner over here. So uh, it doesn't look like it did anything bad, but that's all right. Let me pull this thing out and we'll get on with the review. So I have it out of the box here now, uh, but first things first, we're gonna start with what it comes with. So I'll open this up. Right away I see that it, it is a Viper Spectra driver. Uh, it's actually a Sozin driver. They uh, work with them to create this. Uh, so that's what we have there, a uh, 500 watt driver. And then you just have an adapter for different countries. Uh, what else do we have over here? Uh, a power cable. Comes with uh, two, rope ra two rope ratchets. And then your hanger, your uh, carabine, or whatever the hell you call those things. Ah, four rope ratchets. Perfect. Look at that. Viper Spectre's on the ball here. So we get four of them. That's perfect. Four uh, from four hang, uh, hang points. I'm just going to move this out of the way here now, and we will get on to the light. So here we are. This here. Apologize for that. Uh, you get your owner's manual. They give you some stickers. Uh, pretty nice sticker set out of the way and then they show you all of your hang heights so if you don't have a parameter you're good to go uh, they show you all your heights for their uh, 3000 model their 5000 model uh, their 5000 model is what we have you can see 16 inches uh, 979 ppfd uh, 1000 ppfd uh, they're saying dead center i guess so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hang it at 16 inches we're gonna do our par testing and we're gonna do our uh, spectrum test with my uh, upper tech uh, uh, spectrometer. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you could read about the driver and everything in here, instructions on what to do. Uh, then we get to the unit itself. So um, let's see here. They claim this unit is a 40 by 40 inch uh, fixture. Right away, uh, I measured it. It is 39 and a quarter by 39 and a quarter. But uh, that's close, close to 40 inches, I guess. And then this here is the fixture itself. So I'm just going to pull you guys off the tripod to give you a better look here. Because I just wanted to show you uh, what we're doing here. So uh, this is a mix of 3000K and 5000k Samsung diodes. Uh, they're the horticulture specific ones, the LM301H diodes. Uh, and then, of course, we got the Osram Reds in there as well. So, uh, as I zoom out here, you can see how their pattern goes. Uh, they kind of tighten up their pattern into the corners, just like you see other companies doing. Um, they must have been onto something there to keep uh, the PPFD levels a little better around the edges of the tent. As I come down here, I see this nice aluminum framing. 
Very nice. Uh, feels light. The, the driver is heavier than this light. So, anyway, it's a very nice light. It's got some uh, proper hinges on it. It's not all loose and rattly. We got our hang hooks. So, that there is the Vipar Spectra KS5000. Now let's hang this thing and take some readings. So here we are. We are all plugged in. This is the look of it. And I will show you. Uh, it also has a dimmer. So it has, uh, you could daisy chain your dimmers or it's got 100%, 75, 50, 25, or zero. So it's off now. 25% and we got 118 watt, 50%. 235, 240, 75%, 360, and 100%, 509. So I did let this run for a little while. It's been running for about 20 minutes. Uh, the driver is not real, real hot. Uh, I did do a measurement. I'm just going to show you guys here. So 16 inches is where I said I would go. Uh, it's a little bit even below 16 inches. Sixteen inches. So just to show you guys. And then uh, the tools I'll be using today is my Apple G power meter. Uh, it's the extended power 610. And then I will also be using my PG200N unit from Upper Tech to check uh, the spectrum and everything else. So uh, let's turn this thing on right away here. And right away we are at, well, it's supposed to be reading 1000 PPFD, but it's 800 PPFD. Uh, I'm sure if I went down a couple more inches, it would uh, get there. But anyway, right away, let's get right out to the side here. We'll get right out here to the far side. We're at 621, which is fairly good. We'll go over. Oh, we're going to go over to the far corner. Right in there. Uh, 483. Come back over here. That far corner. Five ten, which is fairly good. Over on the side is 593. As they come down to this corner here, 400. Along the front here, 670 or 640. Seven hundred. Pull this out a bit more. Apologize. So five twenty-seven there. We'll go up to that side there. Six oh five, right on the edge. Five eighteen. I'll move it into the center over here. Seven forty-three. As I keep moving over, better turn it back on. Seven eighty. So it's about eight hundred. Uh, it's about eight hundred directly underneath your bars. Uh, as soon as you get off the side, of course, it drops off to like five hundred. But like, that's like a lot of fixtures. A lot of fixtures do that. These LED fixtures, they drop off fast off to the sides. So uh, that is why, but uh, dead center, once again, we're at about 800 PPFD, and uh, that's at 16 inches. So uh, I'm not sure if I just got a different unit or what's going on. You know what I'll do, just to see if my Apple G isn't out of whack. Uh, what we'll do now is we will use this because it's a spectrometer as well. So I'm just gonna go over here. I'll go dead center underneath. Apologize. Uh, PPFD. Let's 
So take that in. And 863 is the PPFD. So uh, a difference of 63 PPFD from one meter to the other. Uh, what I will do though is I'm just gonna bring it through here and uh, show you this. Turn the lights down a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to home. And uh, let's see what the spectrum here is now. So we got a very nice spectrum. If I go out, and uh, we'll just check out the overall temperature of this light is 3914. So almost 4000K. I prefer my lights around mm, 35 to 3. Uh, the CRI of this light, the color rendering index, is 87.2. And then, of course, there's no UV. But uh, you can see the far red, we got uh, 20. And uh, the red is up there high as well at 339. So uh, the spectrum and everything is looking good. Uh, it doesn't hit quite 1,000 PPFD at the 16 inches like they show. Uh, probably does at 14 inches. But 16 inches would be an awesome hang height if you want to run this unit on max. If you wanted to just keep it on max, you could run it 16 inches above your canopy and you would get awesome buds that way. Uh, or you could drop it to like 12 inches and you'll probably be at like, uh, I don't know, maybe 1100 PPFD. But uh, yeah, overall, nice fixture, very well built. I personally like the fixtures a little bigger so that uh, off to the sides we get more PPFD but uh, that's just me this is an awesome fixture this is in my 4x4 uh, you're gonna see a lot of people using these because uh, they are a nice light but uh, anyway guys if you want to use this I'll put my promo code down below and, uh, yeah you can use that and help save yourself on the website or Amazon thanks for watching guys Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.